Hello, hello NFT friends. Today I'm going to take you through the very simple process of setting up delegate.cash, which will help you to protect your assets in your cold wallet and delegate a different wallet, a burner wallet, to use when you're connecting to websites that require proving that you own certain NFTs, etc. For example, claiming an airdrop or claiming a whitelist based on tokens that you might have in your cold wallet and you really don't want to connect uh, your cold wallet to anything other than or even OpenSea. Uh, it's better to be left completely uh, separate and safe. So I will take you through this very quick and simple process. So you will need two wallet addresses, one of course being your cold wallet and the other being a preferably a brand new address with nothing on it. So I'm going to uh, first of all go to the delegate.cash website. Uh, you can search for it on Google to make sure you've got the right website. Uh, don't follow any links on Twitter or anything like that and certainly don't click any Google sponsored ads that might come up at the top of the search results. Now the second thing that you want to do is make sure that the contract address that you that you will be interacting with for delegate.cash is the correct one because it's always possible that the official website can be hacked. It has happened in other cases before. So the way to make sure that you're interacting with the correct contract address is to look through the documentation. So if we click on this documentation link up here, you will uh, find the GitHub link on the left hand side which will take you to their GitHub page and from there you can see the delegation registry, it's a public Solidity contract and once you click in here you will see that the finalized deployment address for the Ethereum mainnet chain is this one. So once you click on that uh, you will be taken to the Etherscan link and you can see here that there have been 16,600 transactions with uh, quite a few within the last uh, 12 hours. You can even go through to the entire list and go all the way back to see how long it's been going for. Uh, around half a year, around six months. So you can be fairly certain by looking through the contract like this that this is indeed the correct contract and this is the address. So we'll get back to that in a moment once we try and set our wallet up. So let's have a look here. We're going to connect the cold wallet. In my case it is uh, already done but um, it would say uh, get you to choose from your MetaMask accounts that you have. And once you've done that you need to paste in the address of your your burner wallet, the wallet you want to delegate uh, to. So I need to fetch that so I'm just going to temporarily change over to my delegate wallet which I've cleverly named delegate and I'll copy that. Then you do need to go back to the original uh, wallet that you're delegating from because a transaction needs to occur here. So I'll paste in the wallet there submit delegation and this is where you shouldn't blindly click the confirm button on any website right you need to double check and make sure that uh, there's no front-end hack sending to a different contract so up in this little box here it says delegate.cash is the website and then the method is called delegate for all and this is the contract if I click it I am able to open it in block explorer or etherscan and you will see this is a new tab and the previous tab that I opened by following the GitHub is this one here and if I just go back to the main page you will see that they are both the same, the address is the same. So we're safe to proceed with this transaction and also the uh, method name, function name was called delegate for all which as you can see is consistent throughout. So we'll go back to that page and my MetaMask so I'm happy with that. I'm going to click confirm. And then once the transaction has confirmed on the blockchain, that is it. Uh, from now on, I will be able to connect to any website that accepts, that has implemented uh, delegate.cash and be able to connect using my delegated wallet. Or, or what's, I don't know what the correct term is, but let's call it the, uh, the burner wallet. 
and I will be able to prove to the website that I'm connected to that I do indeed own whatever the NFTs are on my cold wallet, but I'm connecting with this uh, burner wallet for safety. So that's it. Uh, fairly simple. It just tells me there what I've done. And that's uh, a very good way to protect your assets if you ever need to verify that you hold certain tokens or NFTs in your wallet. All right, that is all and catch you next time.